Good day to you guys and girls, I'm Mike of MyTendo64 and um, after posting uh, a recent video of our Nintendo Labo VR, you know, strap, head strap, we have decided to make a couple of adjustments um, with some feedback from a few of you and uh, most notably from Etrigan Slave, so thank you very much for that. We decided to add this uh, little uh, head strap on the top as well to help distribute the weight a little bit and also this back plate here and we've also added a little bit of uh, the foam on the inside which is all of this is all inside the Nintendo Lado kit. Obviously you doesn't come with any instructions on how to make this or anything, uh, but this is using the cardboard cutoffs from the, the template, what's left of the templates, uh, and I just used it to like, make my own ad hoc head strap, basically. Um, so this video, this is uh, to show off the Mark II or you know version 2.0, and I'm just going to show you how these pieces actually go together. So then, if you decide to make your own, then you know you can do. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all apart first uh, and show you. So what you do is if you pull the tag underneath here and then you can just lift that out of place and do the same on the other side. Lift that out of place. Now this isn't actually stuck down so this is just going to pop out and it basically it just sits in between the card here and over. And then if I just pull that out you'll be able to see that. That's it basically. Okay, so that just just sits underneath there and by being wedged underneath it helps hold that into place. Now these sides, I've actually only stuck them down on one side so as they slide into the cardboard here it's actually had three pieces so I've slid, slid it in between uh, two of them and then just stuck one side down and this itself is just a piece of cardboard that's been doubled over and then with a pair of scissors I just put a slit in it there, uh, just a simple slit and then slid a piece of cardboard, a long piece of cardboard through the slit and then back out the other side. So let me just pull that back down now, get everything back into place so I can show you the rest of it. Okay. So that's back into place, that holds, and as you can see there, look, that's not even been stuck down or anything just because it's been pinned in between the plastic and this piece of card here that holds that into place. Now, we're going to come across the strap and then we'll talk more about over the top. Now, here, as you can see, the card just goes through that slit and then it just comes out here. Now, that was actually, you know, cut into the cardboard. I didn't do that, but you can, you know, cut the other side as well to help make that slide through that hole easier. Now, it's quite important that when you make the slit, it's a very fine slit um, so that the cardboard actually goes in and, you know, you can adjust it without it pulling too much. If the hole is too open, then the card will just fall out. So a nice slight slit in there. And then this is another piece of card which has been folded over and then stuck down just to help to act as a slider on there, which will just hold that into place. If the strap is too big or if you need to adjust it, then you can pull that, just pull this through, and then you'll be able to slide that back up under to there, okay? Very simple. And that is the same on both sides, okay? Then, as we come here, we have our back plate. Now, this back plate is off of the, the piece of card again. This is what the software box is actually sitting in. So I've butchered that to, you know, misery. And then I cut it to make a shape. Now, I've gone with this shape because it's a, quite a common shape for, like, head straps and things, you know, um, very typical, like, in... Uh, construction helmets like the inside frame and things like that, uh, scuba diving masks also have a, a similar sort of shape on the back or it can be slightly more, um, uh, what's the word, eclipse so to speak but we've gone with this triangle format because of the strap going through the top and then over the t uh, through the top here and the sides as well so it just made more sense to go with this kind of shape. Now it actually has four slits in it now for the actual, you know, the, the strap that goes around the side of the head, um, it doesn't really add anything more to it, it just helps to hold it in place really, uh, the, the actual card, this piece itself. So you just put a couple of slits in the side and then that just goes through here. Now the top strap, as you can see, it goes through the inside here so it doesn't rub on the back there so you haven't got any, you know, uncomfortable pieces on the back of your head there. Then as it comes through, I've got another hole in the bottom, right, so just on the inside. So it comes through here, doubles it over the top, and then it just fits underneath 
there, like so. So that just holds that in the place. And this gives it the, the ability to be completely adjustable. You can adjust it to, to fit the size of your head. Obviously, if you have a, a bigger head than me, uh, which is probably near impossible, I mean, I do have quite a huge head. Um, ego. Uh, so, you know, you may need to get an even longer piece of card. But if, you know, um, most people should be okay with the piece that comes across the bottom. This is the from the B template of the Toycon Blaster, which if I actually hold this over, you'll be able to see that on the back there. So there's the Toycon Blaster, there's the B. Uh, from, this is from that template, which I just cut straight off the bottom, and I just followed the line along the bottom to help get that piece as, as uniform as possible. My cuts are not exactly the best. But there we are, there you have it. That is it. That is all made from cardboard. That didn't cost me a single thing. I didn't have to buy any external straps or, you know, any proper VR gear or foam or whatever. The foam is also from the pack as well. So, you know, all of this comes from inside the, the Toycon, you know, Labo VR kits. All you have to do is, with a bit of savvy, is put it together and away you go. So, you know, I mean, I use sellotape for these pieces here. You can put cuts in it and slots and make them fit so like everything else does, so like this if you wanted to, but I just use sellotape because it was a hell of a lot easier. Uh, and the same for inside here as well, it's just stuck down on one side, but it is very, very robust. It's surprisingly robust for what it is, and as you can see, that's that there. It is a little bit weighty though. Uh, that's mainly because of the, the switch itself, so it will be resting in on your nose quite a bit. But at least with the strap, it helps hold everything into place. And if you've got a strong snoz like me, then you'll be okay. But that is why it's important to have the foam on the inside as well. Otherwise, the plastic will be really pushing down on your nose. Um, there is a slight pull to the front. So I probably wouldn't recommend this for young children. Uh, mainly because there is a little bit of pressure, you know, on the neck. So you do have to work with that. But as you can see, you know, I mean, if I move like that, I mean, you're not going to be doing much of that anyway while you're playing, but you know, uh, it, it fits, it works, it's fine, it holds into place, it leaves your hands free for your Joy-Cons, so here are my Joy-Cons for example, and I can just, you know, I've got full access to all the buttons on the Joy-Con and hopefully when the update comes out for Super Mario Odyssey and for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild I'll be able to test this little uh, headset head strap thing with a pro controller and I'll be able to give you my thoughts on that as well so thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of our content then please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mike Tendo 64 Gaming. You can also uh, stay up to date with all our news, reviews, personal views, interviews, giveaways, and so much more at www.miketendo64.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and we are on Tumblr as well. So, until next time, keep on gaming.